Welcome in to Between Two Meeples. I am Armando Castaneda. And I'm Tara Castaneda. Today is Christmas Eve. Yep, the last day. Of our advent calendar. The Silent Storm by the Exit Game. Yesterday was frustrating, I felt like. It got off to a really good start. We found what we needed to. We cut it, did a little extra cutting, some taping. But figured that out relatively quick. And yeah. then... We misunderstood the opening of door 24, thinking that was still part of door 23. So yesterday we accidentally stumbled upon door 24, took some actions there, and then upon Complete. being frustrated, we, we referenced the, the help book where we found that we actually completed day 23. So we stopped there, and today we are back going to read the 24th of December and see... If we what? already haven't done it already, we don't know. We don't know because we got uh, we rage quit yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see if there was anything else left to do on the twenty fourth, we are jumping into it right now. And just real quick, by rage quit, um, if, <laughs> if you haven't got a glimpse of our Exit Games box, well, it, it is it, it in shambles. Be, <laughs> we really did a number to it yesterday. There's, we had everything organized in their doors. It is a complete mess. Can't stay together, falling apart. Um, so we will see. Yep. Let's get started with <laughs> Christmas Eve. Not my cre festive yeah. Christmas shirt. And, uh... We'll go ahead and get started. All right, let's jump into it. 24th of December. Hurrah, you did it. You actually found the way to the secret command center. When you finally get there, you find a desk with a big red button that'll bring you back to normal size. A tape runs in a continuous loop on which a friendly voice explains how to trigger the process and that a new location can be selected if desired. You let yourself slide to the ground, exhausted, and are suddenly overcome with hysterical laughter. What kind of bonkers, insane odyssey have you just completed? And here you now sit, the savior of Christmas. If you read the screen on the control panel correctly, there is even something special for you. But now to get the button, bring everything back to normal size, and then go and celebrate a cracking Christmas with the boss and your colleagues. You really deserve it. Christmas is going to be big this year. Damn. Now open the secret command center. Which, <laughs> which we already did. I think we did. It's referencing go get the button, which I think is this treasure we found yesterday. Yesterday, which is... Just exit. Christmas hero. Yeah. I mean, it I, hero. identifies us as a... We save Christmas. But it's weird because it says going to be big this year like is it because we so now open the secret command center which we already did i feel like it is the see I, I, now we're back to being frustrated again there there is another page in here that's like the end conclusion can we open the one box that didn't get open first since we've already destroyed this poor thing i guess yeah Or you think it's in the conclusion of where we're supposed to... <laughs> oh, oh look. Hey, what are you doing here? Were you hoping to hide out in the spa? <laughs> Hard luck. There is nothing for you here. The way th through has been closed for weeks. Off you go and get back to work. Okay, so, so it was, it was a fake nothing. box. It was a fake box. So we did, I think... Okay. What we were supposed to. We found the button. So let's, I, I guess at this point, read the conclusion. Okay. It really threw us because we were just really anticipating to open every door on this box and we could not deviate. Our minds could not <laughs> deviate. But there was one fake panel. Mm-hmm. But should that surprise us no. in an exit game? Mm -mm. It should not. Not surprised at all. Okay. Well, with, with that, let's read the conclusion. See if... If, in case for some reason you didn't watch yesterday, the button was in these little holes that we you see as destroyed over here. So there's these little holes, 
always, I guess is what you would call them, the button was glued inside of one of those. It was difficult to, to get, get out. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why you see the whole box. Because then we were tracking down numbers and trying to get yeah. to this door 24, which apparently we didn't need to need do. Need to do anyway. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So in conclusion, all hell broke loose in the dance hall. The news of your heroic deeds quickly made the rounds and all the staff hurried to the ballroom. Your colleagues had been frightened out of their wits, waiting in that basement room. Without knowing what was happening, time had seemed to stretch unbearably. The mood is all the more exuberant now that everyone is here together. They are partying like there's no tomorrow. Because there is still a tomorrow. Music booms from the gramophone and the color crystals cover the ecstatic dancers in their colorful light. Crazy music from the future is being played. Santa Claus insisted on bringing his favorite hits of tomorrow via Christmas magic. Now a song is blaring through the room all about a heart that was given away the very next day. About saving tears and someone special. Just between us, it's not the best song ever, but it seems to ha be having the desired effect on the dance floor. You are the celebrated hero of the evening. Colleagues are constantly coming over to you, putting you on their shoulders and carrying you across the room. They throw you up in the air and catch you again. You receive a non-stop supply of wine from the wine cellar and your favorite sweets from the pantry. You watch with great joy as Santa Claus walks happily through the dance hall chatting to his employees. He's thanked you several times and now approaches you again, beaming. If it hadn't been for you, he says empathetically and hugs you, as he has a few times already this evening. It's really okay, boss, you smile back at him. Then you raise something that you haven't been able to get out of your head since you were in the command center. Tell me if I've understood this correctly. Could we theoretically pick a new location for the workshop? Santa Claus looks at you in amazement and thoughtfully scratches his beard. That would actually be a good call. It's kind of a shock when this stranger came along, he says, and then adds with a wink. I would have been never expected that. He was getting kind of touristy under that southern star. You continue hurriedly with your suggestion. How about a move to the North Pole? I've always wanted to go to the North Pole, beams the boss. And I bet no unwelcome guest would discover us there so easily. You feverently hope that the boss is correct about that. Anyway, it seems the matter is sealed now. Relaxed, you watch the hustle and bustle of your colleagues. A few penguins are grooving away to the music in the corner. If we are moving north, I'll look into finding some new sleigh animals, ponder Santa Claus. I feel there is still room for improvement. Maybe I'll find draft animals that waddle less and run more. Reindeer? Is there something like that up there or something similar? Well, we'll see. Santa sways to the tune of Santa Claus is coming to town and swinging his hips, he moves into a throng of dancing colleagues. A penguin waddles towards you, stretches its flipper out to you and pulls you onto the busy dance floor. You join the crowd enthusiastically. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Well, we made it. We, we made it yesterday. We made it yesterday. <laughs> we got we the beat fan. the whole game in one day. And like, mm -hmm. uh, fast forward to the, all right. Well. I'm just really curious on the back of the box. I keep seeing some, like if we flip it over, it could be a disaster. <laughs> what is this? Oh, their uh, identification for like presents. Oh, gift tax? Yeah. Yeah. In case you guys get this, don't destroy it apparently because there is gift tags that you can cut out and use on the underside of the box. We should, uh, for my sister and brother-in-law, we should <laughs> yeah. make sure we use these gift tags since they're the ones that gifted us this exit game. We can yeah. include that on their, uh, their presents. That's, uh, it is completely in shambles now, the box. It is going to be difficult to move. Yeah, I had fun. I did. It was really enjoyable. I know all in all, we had a few stumbles, some getting used to riddles, others overthinking things, um, but really I, I don't know if it was overthinking. I, I feel like some of them weren't necessarily as clear. Like, I'm still frustrated over the The, the, the bows? Yeah. The, the, was it like, that one? That, oh, that was the one. Like, because there was no way that I would have ever have pieced two and two together without something, 
better of a description than that. Yeah, that one was definitely the most difficult. Yeah. And then we did struggle that 24 was actually a door. We were so held up that there was an extra door and we needed to get to it. Um. I, once again, I felt like that could have been more clear. Like, I saw the 24 on there and I knew, mm -hmm. but when you find it, you're, you, you're thinking that we're still going. It doesn't say stop or, you know, mm -hmm. do not enter yet. Or I felt like there should have been a logical, like, identifier, an icon that says more than just, like, 24 on there. Right. But right. all in all, we did it. I would recommend it. I think it was great, not only yeah. for people who love board games, but people who like riddles and um, exit games. It's nice because most of them aren't taking an hour or two hours, like a normal exit game activity. <laughs> Some, maybe the bow one, but a lot of them could be done. We did you know. them in a, an average of about 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. so. and, uh, Which so is I a nice think. nightly activity, especially if you wanted to do it like after dinner. I would think so. So definitely recommend and uh, excited to be, you know, yeah. done. We solved the riddle and ready for Christmas tomorrow. All right. Well, Cosmos, you can set, sign us up for next year. If you want to send us a box, we'll tear that one up too. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. You, yeah. you can't have it back afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do a number to them. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. If you've stayed on this journey with us, we really do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, please give us a like and a subscribe. I am Armando Castaneda. And I'm Tara Castaneda. And we will see you in the next year.